In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.16.1. I'm also going to show you how to install three different shader packs and how to fix common issues that you may come across during your install. If you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get to the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is run Minecraft 1.16.1 at least once. So open up your Minecraft launcher. I'm just going to drag mine over to here. And what you should see in your drop down list is Minecraft 1.16.1. Now, if you don't have this, like I don't have this, then what you're going to need to do is set up a new installation uh, or profile for it. So what I'm going to do guys is for you guys that haven't done that and want to know how, I will leave a link in the description to the time point in this video where I'm going to be setting that up for you guys. Okay, so to install the shaders mod, which is part of Optifine, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to one of the links that we've got um, in the description, and this will take you to the Optifine official site where you're going to have the downloads. It's going to take you straight to the downloads page. One thing you'll notice on this page, uh, especially if you're hitting onto this early, is that there isn't a version for 1.16.2, and that's because you have to press this preview button, and then that will make it all work. So that's all it is, it's just a button that has the preview versions in there, because they're not quite finished. As you can see at this point in time, 1.15 uh, isn't quite up to scratch, up to the standard, but what will happen in the future is it will have its own section, just as it does for 1.14.4. So what we're going to do, and if uh, again with future versions as well, be aware that there is a change log. Uh, so this change log will tell you what versions are working and what aren't. If you're going to be looking at doing this with Forge, it'll tell you what Forge version it's with. It's really useful. Um, we're going to be going for this top one here, which is 1.16.1. And there's two links. Uh, there's the normal download, which will take you via an add focus or, or add fly type link. So we're going to click on that one. In, in this case, add focus. This makes a little bit of money for the creator. Don't click on anything on here, it's basically a big advert, and what you'll get is a skip button on the side here, and then that will come up. And then finally what you get is this download here, so you can then click on it, and that will start Optifine downloading. Uh, if we go back onto there, I'll just show you guys, if you do have any problems with that tool, you can click on the mirror link. Now, really important, there's a message down here that says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the preview anyway? That is because it's a .jar file. Just keep on, uh, press on keep it's absolutely fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a show in folder there we go and i am just going to grab and drag that onto my desktop now what it should be looking at like is this dot well a java type uh, icon so you're going to get this nice cup of coffee if you have something like an internet explorer file or something like uh, people have said music as well, files and uh, most typically something happens when you have it as a winrar file or uh, the books what you need to do is actually run a program called jarfix. Jarfix will then re um, kind of associate the .jar uh, extension that's on the end of these with Java itself. And if you don't have Java installed, that is another thing that you need to install. Both of these are covered in this video, and there are links to the actual points, the time points in the video, in the description. So I do recon uh, can, uh, recommend you guys, if they, you have got that problem, go into there. Also, if you have problems launching it, that's the same thing. So what we're going to do before we run this, make sure that you've got your Minecraft launcher closed. Really important, the reason being, when it creates a profile, if you've got the launcher open, you won't be able to see it, and then usually people get angry and uh, quit, and then when they close it and come back into it, it suddenly appears for them. So that's the reason they say about that. So we're just going to double click on this, because it's already a .jar file. And what you should get is this box. If you don't get this box, um, again, check if it's not that kind of um, coffee mug type thing then make sure to run Jarfix, and if that doesn't work, then run uh, reinstall Java or install Java. If you have the same problem where it doesn't launch or it comes up with an error, again, run Jarfix, then run Java. It's usually because um, your Java installation is slightly corrupt, so that's the issue. For me, I'm just going to install it in the default location, so you just click on install, then you just wait until that runs its way through, and you should get this button that pops up with Optifine is successfully installed, so we just do OK. Now what we can do is we can go into our Minecraft launcher. Remember, I had my launcher closed, so if you don't have it in here, that's usually the reason. What you'll now see down the bottom here is there's a new profile that's been created. We had to have created one point or run 1.16.1 at least once first, and then we've installed Optifine on top of that with this closed. So remember those two. If we now can click on this one, we've now selected the Optifine profile. And we can click on play and load that up. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to catch you guys in game. 
Okay, so we're now all loaded up with our modded version of Minecraft, which is running Optifine. And just to check that this is working, what you can do is you can go into your options, video settings, and then what you'll see is down the bottom here, Optifine HD G2 Pre uh, 1 Ultra. And you'll also see a load of different options. Uh, Optifine, for those that you guys that don't know, also optimizes your game and allows you to edit a lot more options than you would have done with normal Minecraft. So you can actually make it run faster. Um, so that's really good. So, yeah, what we're going to do, I'm just going to bring the render distance down a little bit. What we're actually going to do now is we're going to install a couple shader packs because, as you'll see, our folder is probably uh, empty. If you've already had shader packs installed, these will then pop up here. But if you haven't before, then I'm going to show you guys how. So what you're going to do is go into the description of this video. There is three different shader packs There is uh, that I've just included. There's loads more out there. We've got Triliton shaders. We've also got Silda's shaders, and we've also got Zeus's shaders. So these are the three shader packs that I'm going to be showing you guys how to install. If we start with Triliton shaders, uh, what you can do is if you go down to the bottom here, you'll see the download section. So on this download section, I'm going to go on to Triliton shaders uh, V8 for all versions. Click on that, and we can click on download. Then that will be a .zip file. Do not unzip this file. You don't need to at all. Um, and what we're actually going to do is drag this directly into Minecraft. So the easiest way to get to your folders is when you go onto this shaders screen here, you'll see shaders folder. If you click on that, that will open it up. Really simple then, nice and easy. We can just go from here and I can just drag it and then drop it in just like that. And again, leave it as a .zip file and don't uh, don't open it up, don't edit it, don't do anything like that. You don't need to. So on Silda's shaders, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the downloads on the side here. And then what we'll go with is we're going to go with extreme volumetric lighting. Why not? So let's grab that one. Uh, this one goes through to an ad focus link. See that ad focus wants to do things. We can just click on X on that. Wait until this side piece here goes onto a skip button. Then when we can press that, we then get to the media fire link and we can press download. And again, once that's downloaded, we can just drag that in and drop that into the shader packs folder. Then what we're going to do is the same again with Zeus. We're going to go on to Zeus and we'll find the downloads. Downloads is here. So we've got uh, Zeus Renewed, uh, there's also Zeus 11, Zeus Ultra. Uh, Zeus Renewed is definitely the one that you want. It's the latest one at least. So download that one. Uh, now what you have to do with Zeus is you have to agree. Uh, so you have to have read and accepted the EUA. I already have. And then you can just press on download. And then let that download. Zeus is the biggest by far out of all of these shader packs. So it will take a little while. There we go. That's all now done. So what we can do is we can drag that and drop that into the shader packs folder like that. So that has installed that. That's in our, our same uh, kind of install. And that's why I always use this button because it takes you to that location. What you'll notice now when we go back into Minecraft is now we can see that we've actually got the shader packs. So I'm just going to click on Zeus Renewed 1. It will come up with this. Load it all in. And then we're just going to click on done. Actually, bef actually, before we click on done, I'll just explain some of the settings. With shaders, there's lots of different settings. So if you go onto the shader options, you'll see things like post process, um, kind of settings on there, like motion blur you can turn off. Uh, some people don't like the depth of field, which I need to find. Apparently, I can't find it. It might have even been on that post process. So depth of field might have been on here, or it might is it might normally be there, but maybe it isn't whatever reason but yeah there's loads of different settings almost every shader pack has its own set of settings so be aware of that that you can go through you can tweak it and you can get it to look the way that you want it to so what we're going to do now is i'm just going to go into the world so i've already created a world called shaders 1.16.1 so let's let this load up and here we are minecraft 1.16.1 1 .1. with shaders we've got all these nice crimson planks now Got the uh, warped planks as well, warped stem, polished blackstone. I'm pretty sure blackstone is going to be really good, and everything else really. So we've got everything that we can use. Ah, neverite. I quite like this. It's the first time I've actually even seen this, so it's quite nice. I do like neverite. It's cool. So there we go, guys. That is it. Um, any issues at all? Do let me know, and I'll try and help you guys in the comments. Uh, but remember that if you weren't able to install it, remember to make sure you run Jarfix and also install or reinstall Java is the easiest way. Uh, it won't do you any harm at all. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. 
So in order to set up a profile for the first time, what you guys need to do is go onto your default launcher, go on to installations, and right here if you press new. So when we get onto new, at the minute the latest version is 1.16.1. .1. If you're on a future version and you're still wanting shaders but it isn't out for that version, which is quite often, then do click on this and then you can select uh, explicitly release 1.16.1, .1, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, if you want to, you can go into more options. You can do things like uh, change the amount of RAM that's allocated, all that kind of stuff. But we're not really worried about that. What we're going to do instead is just give this a nice name, which is going to be 1.16.1, .1, and just press create on that. So once we've done that, we need to make sure that we've at least run it once. So just click on play, let Minecraft start itself up, and then you can close it, and you can go back to the earlier part in the video where I show you how to install shaders for this version. So in order to download and run JarFix to get back uh, .jar files being recognized by Java, you can use this program called JarFix, which is really good. So again, in the description, there is a link to uh, the direct site, so you can just go to it. Uh, what you want to do is just scroll down a little bit here, and what you'll see is on this line here, you'll see this jarfix.exe. So click on that, that'll then down download just as is. Then what you do is just click on that again. What that'll do is that'll come up with a do you want to allow this app um, from an unknown publisher to make changes on your device. For me, it's already gone black screen because my video capture can't do that, but just click on yes. And what you should get is just this kind of like box here, which just says yeah. The .jar suffix um, has been registered successfully, and that's it. It's nice and easy, really, really simple fix. Uh, in this case, because I've got this main kind of Java that we've had before, 1.8, which is actually Java 8, that's the one that's been affected, just in case you have multiple installs, and it's actually not your default, but that will pick up the default one that you've actually got. So click on OK. You're done with running JarFix. If you need to install Java or reinstall Java, then go into the description and grab the main download link for it. So this will give you this page here, and this has all the different versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, if you're online, which you more than likely are, go on to the Windows Online one, because more than likely you're going to be on Windows. So click on that, and then we go for that. What that'll do is that'll in, uh, kind of like download it. When you click on this now, this will then come up with a box which says, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Unfortunately, my screen capture always crashes at this point and just goes black screen, but just click on yes with that. You'll then get a box that looks just like this, so you can change the destination folder in if you want to, or you can just keep it default. For me, I'm just going to keep it default. You can then click on install, and then eventually you should get something that looks like this. For me, it took about three minutes to come up, so um, yeah, you might be waiting for a while, and it just looks like nothing's happened, but something is. Just wait until that bar completes. And once that's completed, you might get something that looks like this. For me, I've got different versions of Java installed. The only one I'm going to uninstall, there we go, is just this one here, which uh, is the one that I usually use for stuff like Minecraft. So um, the rest of them I usually use for just random bits of development to make sure things are working. Uh, so there we go, just click on that. It's also worth noting that if you haven't got Java installed in the first place, then uh, obviously you won't get the uninstall part. But if you are reinstalling, uh, to try and fix some issues or repair it, then it's always best to uninstall that previous version, which is now broken, so you've only got working software on your computer. Then finally, you might get something that looks like this. So we've got, yeah, we've got an out-of-date uh, version that was uninstalled, and I've still got loads of out-of-date ones, but that's just me, so I'm just going to click on Next. And you should get this, and there you go, you've now successfully installed Java. So try and give the Optifine link another double-click. That should now run through successfully.